Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, some widget stuff and a really cool feature of the movie DB Helper, which I think is really neat and I don't see a lot of people using in builds. So right off the bat, I just want to go ahead and say today we are in uh, an 18.7 Leia install on the Omni 202 skin, which is a revival of the old Omni skin. Now it installs in Leia and works uh, surprisingly well. I haven't ever played with Omni, but I'm really digging this. Uh, so I am going to go ahead and throw the link down below for you guys to go ahead and get that as well if you'd like to give it a shot. If uh, if that takes off, um, if Omni 202 suddenly becomes super popular because of this video or whatever, um, I may do a little bit more in detail uh, video about it. Um, for today's video, we are not going to talk very much about Omni, uh, as I've pretty much already got it you know, set up. Um, and to demonstrate, you know, what we're going to be talking about today. Uh, but I will do some some rudimentary little widget setup and stuff, so you guys will see a little bit about how it works. Um, to start off, um, basically what we are looking at today is some lists that the MovieDB Helper provides that are all random content. Uh, so for this one, this is a movies widget from the MovieDB Helper that is showing a random movies genre. Now, unfortunately, we don't know what genre that is, right? Um, this could be, I don't want to say it's sci-fi, because there's the Lion King, um, but everything else, I really, I have no idea what list this is. Um, I'll have to go look here in a second. Uh, now, this one, uh, this is a TV list, and it is provided from my uh, tract history. So this is based on most watched shows. So basically what that does is it I am authenticated with Tract with the MovieDB Helper add-on, and then it takes a list of my most watched shows, picks one at random, and then builds a list based on it. Uh, so this one I actually do know, and now that I've looked, I actually do know what the content of this one is as well. So here's a little challenge for you guys. Um, if you can tell me down in the comments below what is the genre for this widget? And what is the TV show that's my most watched show I based this on? If you can tell me both of those things and get them right, uh, you can tell me what I'm going to do my next Cody video on. That's right. Uh, you guys get them both right. You let me know what to do a video on. Okay. So now that we've got all the introductory stuff out of the way, uh, let's talk a little bit about how we're going to do this. So in a different video that I had shown, I showed that there is a, a shortcut that you can add to your power menu or your sub menu or whatever um, that will show some kind of debug information. Uh, but that shortcut only works in a few skins. Uh, since then, I've actually found a different shortcut which you guys can use that will work in any skin. Um, so I have that right here on my sub menu in Omni. This is called, uh, I labeled it toggle debugging. Um, I can show you what the code for that is down here in settings uh, in the sub menu. This is the action that you need. It's right here. Whoops. Skin.toggle debug. And that's, that's all you need for this. So if you put that onto your power menu or a sub menu of some kind, uh, pretty much anywhere in your skin, uh, that will work. And it brings up this overlay that kind of gives us a little bit more information about what we're looking at. Um, and it tells us that this container that we're on that holds these items in this widget uh, is focused and it is 80113. So that's the ID that Cody needs in order to look up this panel. And that's important for us because then we can find out what the genre is. So I'll get to that in just a second. Um, you'll also see that the TV's one is 80114, the add-ons one is 80115, and so on. Uh, these don't quite line up. And not every skin works quite that way, where it goes 1, 2, 3, 4 down the line. Um, but in a lot of cases, it's something similar to that. In any case, now that we have that turned on, uh, we can go and point those widgets again. So in this skin, I don't have the ability to change the label independently of the widget, which just means we're going to point the widget again uh, and then choose the label. And that's fine. Um, 
So, like I said, I've been through this in some other videos, and this isn't an Omni walkthrough, so I'm not going to go uh, very in detail here, but we're just setting up a widget to the movie DB Helper. Um, and the menu we want is called Randomized. And so in here, there's just a, a load of these lists that are all random stuff. Um, I really like the random tracked lists. This is really cool, and you can use a similar... Uh, feature. I'll do one of those in a minute. Um, so random movie genre is the one that we want. That's the one that was already there. And we're just going to use that as a widget. And so the way that I like to do this, um, you can really put any extra text here that you want, but we're going to use uh, what's called an info tag. Um, and that is a dollar sign with a capital info and square brackets. And so basically what that says is whenever Cody reads this label, it's going to run into that and whatever's inside of those square brackets, it's going to evaluate like a variable and then return that value to us as part of the label. So we got those container IDs earlier and we can say for this one, we know that the container was 80113. So container and you're going to do open and close parentheses and then put that number right inside there. Um, and then it's dot list item, which is basically saying for any item in that container, we want to use a property which is inside parentheses and it's called widget. Uh, just as a quick little shortcut, if you guys didn't know this, the way I'm moving my pointer there instead of having to go over to the arrows and move like this, is uh, control and the arrow keys. I'm on a PC, so that works. Uh, Mac, it may be command, I'm not sure. Uh, in any case, we hit done. And now that is our label. So if we back out and let this rebuild the skin, um, one thing you'll notice is that that overlay is gone, but that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit easier way even to use the overlay. Um, so we'll see A, this has changed. Uh, the widget did change whatever content was in it. And if we highlight it, we can tell that these are history movies. So it says right there, the movie DB helper hyphen history, which is because that property widget that was on all these items evaluated out in the end to history, and then they put that in the label. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. We'll do a different one uh, for this page. We'll do the tracked list because I think that that is a really neat way as well. Uh, one thing that we do need to do though is turn back on that overlay. And I do still have this shortcut here, but I'll show you guys as well. I've added it recently to auto widget. So if you open up auto widget, if you have it installed, go into tools and then hit toggle skin debugging. That is the exact same thing. Um, you can also access it from auto widgets settings dialog. Um, it is in the tools there, toggle skin debugging. So if you have auto widget, it's even easier. You don't even have to edit your power menu or anything, um, especially convenient because there are some skins where you can't edit the power menu or sub menus or things like that. Uh, Omni, this skin, for example, I can't edit the power menu. Um, so now that we have that overlay back on and we know that this container is 80114, We'll go back into our skin setup, back into our widgets, and we'll do this widget again. So this one, we're going to get an add-on, video add-on, the MovieDB helper, and back down into randomized. But this time I want to do one of these lists, because these are cool. So if we do random trending list, for example, and pick that, Gotta let it load, I guess. Maybe that's a long list. Okay, and if we use this as a widget. Now here, we're gonna do that same exact info tag, the dollar sign with the capital info and square brackets with container, and it was 80114. The items inside that container have a property called widget, and we want it. Okay? So now, that's done for that one. 
And if we back out and let it rebuild the skin, this one's probably still going to be history. I have a feeling it doesn't refresh every single time. That shows one is still loading. Oh, here we go. Music. So this is a music genre, and we can tell that now. And then this one down here, um, oh, this is a tracked list of movies by director Guy Ritchie. So that's the name of the list, director colon Guy Ritchie. Uh, it's possible if I was to reload the skin, I get a different list. Like I said, doesn't happen every single time. Um, I don't really know the criteria for when it refreshes that list. It's all handled by the MovieDB helper, though. Uh, it did give me new uh, movies. I got documentary movies, so maybe I did get a different list here as well. I don't know yet. Maybe I should watch some more documentaries. Maybe it's a sign. Um, yes, I did. I got TV shows from sci-fi. Uh, it's got those funky little boxes. That's probably a weird Unicode character in the name of the track list or something like that. Um, but you can see how these work now, and so it uses that list item property. Uh, basically, each one of the items that the MovieDB Helper populates, it attaches that widget property to the item, and then we can use it as long as we know what container they're in. Uh, so again, you can use the toggle debugging uh, shortcut, the skin.toggle debug, or you can use the option inside auto widget or from settings in auto widget to get that little overlay to pop up and then that will tell you what container you're in and that will work on any skin as far as I know I have not found a skin yet that doesn't at least show this minimal debug up here in the corner that'll at least show you what container you're on okay uh, like I said I will go ahead and put uh, all those little template codes, um, all the little actions that you may need, I'll put those down in the description, as well as a link to this skin, because this skin is pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, and I will go ahead and say one more time, if you guys can guess the genre and the TV show that the lists in the very beginning of the video were based on, you can let me know what video you want me to do next about Cody stuff. Um, got to put both of them together, got to put them in the comments, and you got to get them both right, or else no dice. Uh, hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. Uh, if not, let me know. Go ahead and like, subscribe, all that cool stuff. We'll talk to you later.